That was awesome. Okay, so today Apple released a few new versions of Pages, Keynote, and Numbers. And what it basically did was made support for the Apple Pencil inside of these applications a reality. I thought I'd do a quick little demo of this and just kind of show you how it works. So I've got an Apple Pencil here. I'm gonna make a new presentation. And uh, there's not really a, any new themes or anything like that, I don't think. But we're gonna go ahead and just do a brand new simple presentation. Let's do this one here and we'll get into just how this new feature works. You can now add new shapes. There's all kinds of shapes to choose from. So we're gonna look through here real quick. You can see all kinds of different stuff. But if you wanna make something custom and unique, you can just hit that drawing button and now you can draw right on the screen. So I'm gonna go grab a more simple and seamless screen grab here. So let's just get a blank slide. So here we've got a blank slide. I'm gonna go back to that plus button, just head into the plus button, and you can pick all these different things here, and there's tons of them to choose from. So let's start out, we'll just drag one of these out. You can see we can drag out pizza. You can actually draw simply by putting the Apple Pencil right onto the screen. So to draw with the Apple Pencil, you just simply put the Apple Pencil on the screen and you're already drawing on it. It's that easy to draw on it. And there's all kinds of different ways to draw on it. So you can use this little paint tool here and it'll fill in different things. There's a crayon option, so you can write on it with a crayon. Uh, and there's also this marker over here, so you can use the marker if you wish, or a pencil if you're after something like that. So as you can see, there's also some new collaboration options. When you come onto the iPad, it'll pop up in this window right here. When you open this up, it will allow you to collaborate and you can start collaborating with other people that are also using the application. So you can do the same types of things with pages. We're just gonna go in and start a brand new blank document here and I'm gonna show you around pages new sketch tools. So you just hit the plus button and you'll see there's all the new shapes that we just showed you over there on the other options as well. So there's the basic shapes and all the new uh, fancy ones as well. So there's all these different like science shapes. So we're just gonna go ahead and start writing on this paper. Hit add drawing and you'll be able to draw right onto the paper however you wish. Really simple. So now if you want to go back in, you can simply select that. Smart annotation mode is selected and you can make quick edits right on the fly. So you can change words and stuff like that. You can go in and write on it in different places. If you wanted to, for example, go highlight some things that you're working on, you can go back in there. If you're maybe talking to a professor or something, you can grab this and just kind of write some notes like, hey, the professor said do this, this, or this. So that is Pages, and of course, Keynote got the update as well. GarageBand also got a slight update today. Uh, not nearly as many new features, but there are some new features inside of GarageBand. So if you go in to create a song, there is now the ability to download a new selection of sounds from the sound library. You'll find it inside sound library. It's called Toy Box. It's down here at the bottom and you can pick up Toy Box right here. It is free and there's over 400 different new loops and sounds and effects for this. I want to just preview it. So those are just a few of the new sounds. I'm downloading the whole thing right now, so you might get a, a full look at what you can do with this. I'm gonna give you a few examples of how this works. It's actually kind of neat that it does this, and there's all kinds of other ones that you can choose from, but this toy box is the one that was announced just this morning at Apple's event in Chicago. So now we've downloaded the new sounds. When we go into our keyboard section, if we scroll down to other, we can scroll to the bottom of these sounds and we'll see the new toy box options. So I'm gonna just play a few of the different sounds. For example, here's mini marimba. There's also music box. Here's a, let's do toy piano. Uh, let's melodica. This is the melodica.
So that's just a quick look at some of the new updated Apple apps. They brought in some support for the Pencil and a few other things. It was interesting to see their event this morning. It was a little different than the average Apple event. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, leave a like on it and comment down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. <laughs>